Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian and welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I talk about important topics that I need to keep my focus and keep my high vibration and my manifesting abilities and my positivity on track. Okay, so this is day three of the California stay at home mandate. Um, and I also have five days before that of self quarantine. So <laughs> I've never experienced anything like this. And when I've really come to realize, because I've been doing readings the whole time, because that's what I do. I do readings too. I've been doing readings and what's been coming through has been so profound and we are being so guided by spirit. And I really do feel that I have the answer to this situation, at least in terms of mitigating the negative consequences of it. And so, because I mentioned yesterday in the post how this virus attacks the heart area and lungs, and the heart chakra area. And we are supposed to be here to open our hearts and have unconditional love eventually. And we've not done that. Not even a little. And so, it's so symbolic, this thing. And the people that are really focusing on selfishness and narcissism and vapid behavior and things like that are probably going to fare that well with this whole thing because this is a mass clearing for the planet. And, you know, when I talk to friend, like I have a friend and I just got off the phone with her and I'm like, look, this could be really hairy, you know, and she doesn't want to hear it because I don't, you know, I don't think people want to focus on possible really negative consequences, but I'm just saying, if we know what's coming, then we can prepare and get through it. Okay. So what I'm getting so clearly is that there's two ways to get through this. One, we got to deal with the virus and the virus is quarantine. Stay at home period. Because the way I look at this virus psychically, aside from it being a heart chakra attacker, Number one, it was totally genetically modified so that it stays on surfaces longer and in the air longer. So it's almost like if you walk outside, you could potentially get it. And so just stay inside and let the wave pass and then you can come out. It's simple as that. Okay. The one caveat is, and it's the other issue that we're going to have to contend with imminently is all the people that are being required to stay home from work and are not getting paid. And there are millions of those people. Millions. There are those that are lucky and blessed enough to be able to work at home and still get a paycheck. But there are millions of people that are not that blessed. And those people in a couple of weeks are going to have to contend with no food and no money. And I know the government saying this and that, but I'm telling you the truth. And I know this as much as I'm sitting here right now. Nothing's happening in two weeks. Nothing in terms of getting funds for the government. Okay, so how do we fix this? And the cool thing was, yesterday I got really down, but today I woke up and I was like, I felt motivated to help. I felt called to help. Was diligently working on it and like it was coming in like channeled information. And then I had to stop because I had a reading. And wouldn't you know, that reading was with somebody in a very powerful position in her corporate business to take this idea and implement it on a large and very grand scale so that all of a sudden what was my idea and then it came through spirit me channeling literally channeling spirits message to be implemented into a way that's going to help millions of people and I feel so grateful because it's like I just I felt so powerless and I felt so sad about what is imminent or what looked imminent. But the trick is nothing is definitive. Everything is in flux. So we as a collective can turn this around by giving and by giving from the heart, because that's going to overcome this virus being heart centered and being centered on helping people and helping people get through this. Because there's going to be millions and millions of well people that can't go to work, that can't pay their bills and can't have money to eat. That's the main thing. You know, the government should help with the utilities and whatnot, but just eating and stuff, I think the community needs to come forward because you would want people to do that for you. 
And that's the right thing to do. And that will open your heart chakra. And that will get us through this. Okay, so I know this is really long-winded and whatever. But that's the answer. Stay in and give. And try to think, what can I do for my computer to help people? So that I don't affect them. I don't infect others. I don't bring anything home to for me to get infected or my family. And I just work in a way that is... Aquarian, because today Saturn moved into Aquarius, and today is literally the first actual day of the age of Aquarius. Okay, so this is about innovation, this is about thinking bigger, this is about the humanitarian aspect, and this is our big test on this planet. And I mean, when I say big test, this could go because uh, everything's in flux, you know, we could take the low road and go down the toilet, which a lot of beings in the universe probably expect. In this petri dish or ant farm we call earth you know we have watchers and they're looking at what we're gonna do so i say take the high road give from the heart stay in do what's right for the collective and we'll get through it and it'll be amazing on the other side please take heed and be safe okay so i hope everybody got something from that if you need a reading, the readings are really profound these days, really channeling a lot of important information. So they're heavily discounted and I'm going to start giving $25 of each reading, each hour long reading to a charity to help feed the masses. And hopefully it's a charity that I'm in partly involved with, you know, conceptualizing at least. <laughs> yes, right on. All right. So please subscribe. I'm going to be boasting a lot. All right. So.